G'day guys, how's it going? It is Jared HD here. Welcome to season number five of our Aston Villa career mode series in FIFA 19. This is episode 57 overall. And my God, we are entering a new era. Of course, last season we became the Premier League champions, but this season we're about to go to a whole new level. As you can see here, Jesus has finally come to the club. Of course, we signed him on a pre-contract deal last season. So we have brought him in on a free deal from Man City, 26 years of age, 92 rated. This guy is a goddamn weapon. And the signing of Jesus means I've changed the formation round slightly. So now we are playing two up front, Silva and Jesus. Hudson Adoy and Lozano there. Uh, it means our captain, our club captain, Tom Davies, has been dropped to the bench. Meaning for the moment, Jamal Lascelles is the captain. But I am planning on bringing in three improvements this season. I am planning on selling Julian Draxler, Ariola, and potentially Jamal Lassell. I might keep some of them for uh, bench players. Probably gonna look to sell Draxler and Ariola though. How old is Lascelles? I didn't check that. 29, yeah. I'm gonna sell all three of them. Ariola's hit 30, Draxler's 29, Lascelles 29. I wanna sell them all while they're still worth a decent amount of coin. But if you guys are excited for this fifth season, make sure you leave a like on the video. Also, if you're new around here, scorpion kick that subscribe button down below. But without further ado, let's get into season number five. So we have been granted 115 million pounds from the Aston Villa board. Of course, last season we won the Premier League title, so that would have helped it quite a lot, but we should be able to do some decent business with this amount of money. So of course, we have the three areas of goalkeeper, center defensive mid slash center mid and center back that we all want to improve on. So here is the short list for this season. A lot of superstars in specific areas. Very excited to see what we can do. I'm going to look to see who I sell first, but I probably will start by signing a center back just because uh, it's the weakest position on our team right now. My first target, however, is going to be Presnil Kimpembe. We're going to go in for the Frenchman right now. He's got 12 months remaining on his contract at Chelsea, so we might be able to get him on a pretty good deal here. Let's see if he wants to come to the champions. So I'm going to offer 48 million pounds on the dot because that is what the chief told me to do. 62.7 isn't terrible, but I definitely want to get him on the cheap. So let's say... 50 million on the dot, only 500,000 above his base value. Chelsea accepted, let's go! We might get Presnil Kimpembe really, really close to his base value. 50 million pounds, I will take that. Let's offer him a contract. So we're gonna say 200,000 to 300,000 a week. We might have a signing within the first few days of the transfer window. 31.4 million pounds offered by Arsenal for Lenny Pintor here. <sighs> nah, I'm not gonna accept that. I'm gonna reject that. He's a handy player to have in our reserves. Let's go. Only six days into this fifth season, we have got ourselves a new star center back. It is Presnel Kumpembe coming across from Chelsea. The side that beat us in the final day of last season. He is now playing for Aston Villa. How bloody good is that? Can't believe we got him for 50 million pounds. That is a great price. Welcome to Aston Villa, Presnel Kimpembe. That is sick. Atletico Madrid, 44.3 million pounds for Julian Draxler. Holy moly, the board reckons we can get 76.8 million. If I get that much for him, I would be over the moon. I'm going to go towards that end of the scale. So, Simeone, how good do you want to be to me, mate? We're going to say 74.3 million pounds. If we can get this, 51.8. Not as good as I would have hoped. Let's say 71.8 million pounds right now. Come on. 52.4, Simeone. Stop it, mate. I'm just going to keep narrowly putting it down. 70 million pounds? They're not interested. Your loss. Transfer offer from Schalke for Lars Lucas Mai, but there is not a chance in the world I'm accepting that. I've really enjoyed his progress in this save. He's a handy player to have in the reserves. Rejected. Two transfer offers here. The first one is for Jamal Lascelles. I'm going to go and try getting the top end of value for him because if we can't sell him for a decent price, I don't want him to go in that regard because 
He's a handy player to have in the reserves if we don't, if we're not going to be starting him anymore. 83 rated reserve would be nice to have, but I can't remember what the max was. I'm going to say 37.6 regardless, and let's see what PSG say. Nope, they're not having it. But then the second offer was for Peter Green. Do I want to sell this guy? Nah, it's not worth it. For two million pounds, I may as well keep him and continue to develop him. But this is one of our young players that I am considering selling. It is Juan Soro Alvarez and Alexei, 8.4 million pounds. You know what? I'll accept that. 21 years of age, 74 overall, not a bad return. Another transfer offer for Jamal Lascelles and it's another French club. I can see why PSG rejected it because the max was 32.8. I thought it was 38.2. Anyways, we're going to say 32.8 for him for Leon here. Their initial offer was 20.6, which isn't good enough. So let's bump that up to 32 million pounds and see what the French outfits say. 26.7, they've met us in the middle. They're going to have to do a little bit more of that though. We're going to say 31.7 million pounds for him. 27.7. Do I risk it? No, I'm gonna accept it. So we've accepted a 27.7 million pound offer from Leon. And there it is. Jamal Lascelles is no longer an Aston Villa man. We thank him for his service. He was good for us for the most part, but age is ultimately the biggest factor. You have to be cutthroat. 27.7 million pounds is a good transfer fee for him though. Transfer offers are really coming in, aren't they? Brent Goosens, did I list him up? No, I did not. So 690,000 pounds. I'm going to reject it. So I have three options for goalkeepers here. And honestly, all of them, I'm not sure which one to go in for. They're all great options. I feel like regardless of which one we go in for, we'd probably end up doing all right. I'm leaning maybe towards Jordan Pickford because it's more affordable. But I know Edison and Kepa would be better options for him. Oh, I don't know, man. I do not know which one to go for. Leaning, leaning towards Jordan Pickford, honestly. We can get him for 43.4 million pounds. Straight up. How much can we get Edison for? That's only 10 million more to be fair. I'm gonna go in, oh, but Jordan Pickford's only a year younger. It's hard, man, because all the good goalkeepers at the moment are only a year younger than Areola. So I feel like I would only have Pickford for a year or two. So okay, let's go in for Jordan Pickford. I do like Pickford. He's a great goalkeeper. 155,000 pounds a week. Let's see what he says. And Jordan Pickford has accepted our contract offer. Do I go through with it? Yeah, I'm going through with it. Jordan Pickford is gonna be our second signing of the season. He is now the new number one or the new number 12, soon to be number one at Aston Villa. So there it is, Pickford, 88 rated. He's an upgrade on Areola, that is for sure. He younger and two overall higher. So he's going to be a great pickup for us. English as well, which helps us fill the English quota. Welcome to Aston Villa, Jordan Pickford. So with that signing of Pickford, I mean, it happened when we signed Kimpembe. Our lowest rated player in the starting lineup is now 85 rated Juan Bissaka. Our side, honestly, we, can go, we should be going back to back in the Premier League. And we should be going very, very deep in the Champions League, if not all the way. And of course, we still want to sell Draxler and bring in a new midfielder. So a lot of transfer business still to get done. Transfer offers for Rita and hudson Adoy. Now, Rita, I have transfer listed. So I'm going to sell him to Brentford for £2.4 million. The ginger man is going there. And then hudson Adoy, Arsenal want him for £50 million. Not a bloody chance, lads. Transfer offer for Gabriel Janssens. Do I want to sell him? I've transfer listed a few players, but Janssens is not on that list, so I'm going to reject him and continue to let him grow. And there it is. Kevin Reader has departed the club. He was slowly growing, but I thought it was time just to get rid of him. He was never going to get a start or any game time on our side, even in cup competitions. So we've sold him to Brentford for 2.4 million pounds. But we have our first game of this fifth season. It is a perfect opportunity for ourselves to test our new signings. It is the Community Shield at Wembley against Everton. I'm honestly so excited to test out our three new signings in Jesus, Kempembe, and Pickford. A lot on the line here. We want to get our hands on our first piece of silverware this season. I mean, our trips to Wembley in this series as a whole have been pretty uninspiring. 
pretty upsetting. I mean, the FA Cup final last season, I think it was, or two seasons ago against Liverpool was definitely a bad moment. But we have a massive game here. And Pickford, it just clicked in my mind. Pickford's first game for us is against the side we signed him from. So a lot on the line in terms of personal pride for Pickford. So here is the Everton side. Virginia is the man in between the sticks for them. Blind is in there. They've got Rugani, Sander Burge, Zobnan, Lukman, uh, Moise Keane, Jao Mario, DePaul on the bench. I think I saw Jota and Weigl on the bench as well. So a very good side from them. But whilst Everton have a pretty good side, ours is just ridiculous. That is a beautiful starting 11 there. Need to maybe work on the bench a little bit. Uh, I'll figure that out after I get rid of Draxler and bring in a new midfielder. That'll probably happen ne next episode. But Jesus and Silva, very excited to see how they go up front together. In the attack here, Moyes Keane. Kimpembe's first test. Oh my god, that is not a good start. Yikes. I don't know who that is, but uh, Moyes Keane. Moyes Keane has given Everton the lead. Two minutes into this one, or three minutes into it. I haven't even touched the ball. We've been beaten at the near post. Kimpembe outpaced by Lookman, but what a back heel that was. I don't know why nobody was following Keane in. I mean, look how open Keane is. Are you fucking kidding me? We're going to throw in here. Herving Lozano going to Juan Bissaka. Ball being passed around here. Brandt goes to hudson Adoy. hudson Adoy back to Brandt. Through, Silva, green timed, 1-1. One, one. Keeper rooted to the spot. That is the perfect response there. We go behind, but our first real attempt results in a goal. This might be a high scoring affair. Honestly, I thought we missed it to be fair when, um, like I obviously green timed it, but when the keeper had the reaction that he did, I thought we'd missed it. We take one touch, we bang it. That's a perfect finish to be fair. This angle is going to be nice. Did it go through the legs? It did, through the legs of Regani, into the top corner. Come on, Jesus, going here to Silva. Through, Gabby, Jesus, he scores! His first game as a Villa man, and it is Gabby Jesus giving us the lead in the Community Shield. His first attempt as a Villa man is a goal, so at 100% conversion rate for Gabriel Jesus, the man we have signed from Man City. He is absolutely rapid, honestly. I've been running around with him in like defense and stuff, and he's just a new level of pace, a new level of rapidness. I am so excited for the future with this guy. 2-1. Got a throw in here. Lozano going to Silva. Lozano back in. Brandt! Still on. Nope. Well won from Juan Basaka, meeting the 50-50 ball. We're passing it around. Jesus scores another one! Gabby Jesus has two shots with two goals. Let's go! Our offense is ridiculous now. Honestly, I think the only highlights in this game so far have been goals. Not a single save by either goalkeeper yet. And we have three goals in 36 minutes here. Beautiful link-up play there. Jesus honestly feels like a... Uh, he just feels like a weapon. He feels so good. We are 3-1 up here. wan Bissaka going to Lozano here. We want to start the second half off with a goal. Julian Brandt to Draxler. I see Hudson Adoy who green times it. But forces the first save of the game out of Virginia. We've been in that situation so many times. I honestly expected a goal. Especially when I saw the green flash. But it's a good save. We do have the corner though. Draxler to send that one in there. It's going to go to Julian Brandt. He puts it just wide. Good tackle there from Julian Brandt. It's given Silva an opportunity. Jesus is so fast. Come on, Gabby. For your hat trick on debut. Oh, imagine. Far out. We are going to make a substitution here. So are Everton. But it is going to be Julian Draxley coming off the field. And Francesco Ferrari coming on for us. A corner here for Everton. Just over 20 minutes remaining in the community shield here. We headed away with Kempembe, but it goes straight out to Daily Blind, who goes there, forces a save out of Pickford. That's his first save as uh, our goalkeeper. Oh, intercepted there. Come on, we want to get that hat trick for Jesus on debut. Jesus off the crossbar. 
Honestly, every time this guy gets the ball, it feels like he's going to do something outrageous. There it is, fellas. That is full time. And we have collected our first piece of silverware for the season. We have won the Community Shield here. 3-1 against Everton. That was a pretty bonkers first half, to be fair, wasn't it? That was crazy in the first half. Is there any title celebration? Oh, it's just, yeah, here's the title celebration. So, Julian Brent wearing the captain's armband for this game here. I think I'll keep it to him for the long term, now that Davies and Ferrari are both on the bench, and Draxler's going to go sooner rather than later. But, in our last game, we lifted the Premier League title. Today, we lift the Community Shield title. Nobody seems too thrilled about it, but that's silverware nonetheless. But fellas, that is where we will conclude the opening episode of Season 5 for the Villa Career Mode Series. Our side's looking quite sweet at the moment, but still want to bring in a replacement for Julian Draxler. We've got 50 million pounds. If we sell Draxler, we could get 100 million or so, give or take, depending on how much we sell him for, maybe even more. So still opportunity for a world-class midfielder to come in. But if you guys enjoyed today's episode, make sure you leave a like on the video. Scorpion, kick that subscribe button down below if you're new around here. I'll see you for the next one. It's been Jared HD here. I am out. Peace.